Welcome to 2021.02 SDS2's April Load Planning Release. This release is by no means an April 1st prank. It is packed with some real time saving tools like the Easy Bundle Creation Tool and the Improved Search Load List Tool. I'll begin this journey with an improved search load list tool. Now you can type in a portion of the value you are looking for and a list will be generated that you can select from to find. We call this a fuzzy search. No wild characters required. We have also sped up selection in the load list. Some may have noticed some sluggishness in the prior releases. Weights in the Aviva BOCAD files were in an unrecognizable location in the IFC file. So we've added the weight location to our eternal list so now the weight is indicated. You will also see the Aviva BOCAD properties. Keeping with our need for speed, I will move on to the Easy Bundle Creation Tool. Often on a project, you'll have to ship many small loose parts. These parts will be thrown on a pallet and shrink wrapped or tossed into a container, in some cases thrown into the cab with the driver, but we'll pretend that doesn't happen. Let me demonstrate this fixed bundle loading tool. There are two options to quickly and easily add these items to a fixed bundle. Option one, is to load the fixed bundle directly from the staging view, or option two is to load from the staging list if you want to get the weight first before adding the loadables. Let's start with option one. I will select these plates from the staging view. Then select the Add to Fixed Bundle. From the next window, you can either create a fixed bundle or select an existing fixed bundle. If you are selecting a bundle that is already created, it will only show up in the list if it is set to a loading state. I will select the Create New Bundle option. Notice, only a fixed bundle can be created here. You can enter the name and the size. In the loading view, I can expand the bundle I created, and you will see that the parts have been added to the bundle. Now this bundle is like any other fixed bundle, where you can remove and add loadables and set it to complete to add the bundle to the staging list. Now let's look at the second option. Let me stage a few plate loadables. With the previous example, you could see the quantity and the weight from the selection. But if you want to accumulate loadables, you can place them onto the staging list first and look at the accumulated quantity and weight of the loadables. In Loading View, select Bundle that you wish to add the loadables to. Then right click on the staging list and add staging list to fixed bundle. This will add all the loadables on the staging list to the selected fixed bundle. During hands-on training, it was noticed that clients would stumble during the moving of a loadable because they would forget that they had to select the loadable first and then click and drag. To avoid any bruised fingers, we have modified this so that when you select a single loadable, it will both select and move in one action if you keep the mouse button pressed. It's the little things that count. The next feature needs a little introduction. When we designed SDS2 load planning, we wanted to make sure that you could not hook material that could cause the load to tip when offloading at the site. So, for example, a gusset plate would cause a loadable to become invalid if it entered between the two flanges.
A number of our clients expressed that they use forklifts instead of cranes, and they wanted to push the steel tight to avoid having to block out loadables. We now allow you to push these loadables tight, what we call horizontal nesting. Here we see the nesting into the bundle. How about nesting the shear plate into the end of a member on a drop deck trailer? Before heading into our final feature, I want to mention that a number of small bugs and annoyances have been fixed as usual in this release. Now for the grand finale. We've addressed a process issue that has caused some distress. As we move toward pull planning, that is fabricating based off of a truckload, the issue of what happens if the person creating the load in load planning builds the load with loadables that will not be fabricated when time comes to physically load the trailer. It is difficult for a loader to build a physical load if some of the loadables are not even fabricated yet. Prior to this new feature, what would happen is only the release for fabrication loadables would be exported in the IFC model. But this can be cumbersome when you have to communicate this information to the detailer that is exporting these IFC files. Or maybe a list would be generated of the release for fabrication loadables. Then the list is given to the SDS2 load planner loader. They will then have to determine these loadables manually in the staging view. Not a good plan either. Why not just send a CSV file from your MRP product to update a user property in the model that can then be filtered on? After all, all your Tech EPM, Strumis, Fabtrol, or Homebrew product is what basically controls the shop and knows what the fabrication statuses are. We have replaced the old tool of Stage from CSV, which would place on the staging list all the loadables found in the file, with the new tool CSV Property Import, which will populate a selected user properties. Just like the old tool, you will determine which IFC properties that you want to key off of to find the loadables. But what is added is a third entry which will become the value that is placed in the user property. You can search for as many IFC properties as you want to locate the loadable, and the last entry will always be the value applied to the user property. Under Tools, you will select the CSV property import, then select the CSV file exported from your MRP product or however you want to generate this list. You can either select an existing user property to apply the data, or you can create one on the fly. I'm going to create one on the fly named Released. It is important that you select the correct type for the value. Name the user property, Released, and leave the defaults. Press Add. Select the user property you just created and OK to complete the task. It's that easy. Let's see our work by creating a filter. For our next scenario, a few days later you get some members that are put on hold for a revision. Not a problem. Let's update. Notice in this file I'm looking for the unique identifier, also called a GUID, and I have one line with a piece mark. 
Let's run the tool with this file and select the held property. You are notified that there is a bad entry and all the good entries are applied. I will create a filter to see which loadable is affected. Is this loadable on a load? I'm going to go ahead and use the load filter. And due to this new addition that causes only the loads that are visible in the staging view to be visible in the available values list, we can see what loads are affected by this hold. Let's open up this trailer stair nesting and here is the held loadable. This will conclude the highlights of version 2021.02. Once again, we've added tools that will reduce loading time and load planning, making your life easier. Thank you.